I asked Divine Masculine about you. Yeah, and this person is blocking their messages. They're blocked or they're having a hard time getting through to somebody, to this male. Wow. The devil. This person's doing some weird shit. Okay, show me this message. Ask Divine Masculine about you. So they asked this person. This could be their friends or family. Could be the third party. This could be a group of people asking this person about you. Could be something about a child or some kind of uh, party event. They ask this person about you through a message. This could have been very recently. The full, possibly about a child or something new in your guys' life. Purity. There's something new in your guys' life you could be waiting on. You could be healing or something like that. Rest and rejuvenation. Some kind of happiness, abundance you're enjoying. That's new. It's pure. It's innocent. But somebody's trying to throw the sheet over your eyes. This is somebody you've been real cold with or you left out in the cold. This person that ain't shit without you. Yeah, you you started a new chapter, a new era, a new phase. You could have not have talked to this person since like last year or previous years. I feel like this is somebody you've been out of touch with for a while. This could be the person, uh, the energy we just went over, quit blowing up my phone. I feel like they're trying to um, get a hold of a masculine energy. This could be somebody that used to kiss your ass and stuff like that for favors or um, to get what they wanted or for finance. I feel like um, message asked my masculine about you. They're asking about somebody. Page of Rods, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person's worst nightmares have come true. This person cannot believe you've been in hermit mode. You've been spending so much time alone. This person did not expect you to be good without them. This person ain't good without you. This person ain't shit without you. Strength. Leo. Ten of Cups reverse. This could be someone's family or some exes. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Yeah, you look like you're on your own or you're single or something, or you're enjoying some kind of blessings. You're happy without this person, regardless, single or not. Ace of Pentacles, you got some kind of gains or increases or opportunities. Could be a new job, could be a new child, could be something to do with a pregnancy. Yes, I'm gonna. <laughs> yes, I'm going to say pregnancy. Some people get so mad when I mention pregnancy. I wonder why. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands reverse, and then top of the deck Empress. Okay, I just feel like somebody's competing. 
with another woman or something. Queen of Wands reverse. This bitch is trying to control things. She's asking somebody about someone. Queen of Rods reverse. She's real sad and stuff. I feel like this is a person in the Ten of Cups reversed. Whoever you kick to the curb and whoever's in poverty. They're obsessed with another feminine energy or an empress. Possibly another mom. This person, um, they're, they were accustomed to you helping them or juggling them. You could have been juggling one of these people. This could be a side piece or something like that. There's, there's two or more people here. Someone acts divine masculine about you. This person could have multiple kids. That's what's standing out to me, something with children. Are they asking them about an empress energy? Yeah. Something with kids or something. This could be somebody's sisters or something or cousins, mom, ex, something like that. I feel like um, somebody that's close to them or that was once close to them. This could be somebody y'all knew too. Priest reverse. They have ill intentions. They got selfish motivations. They're trying to block something with a wedding. They could have been trying to start up drama. They're trying to control something or asking about a woman or a young woman. I feel like they're trying to stop a commitment or something. Something with a young woman. This was very recently in a message. This could be something to do with the father or lord energy. This person, so this person asked about a young woman. Okay. I could tell this person's real sad. Yeah, Ten of Cups reversed. Saturn and Aries risk. Egotism. Mars and Leo. Yeah, something with kids. They're trying to compete with something with some kids. I feel like this is this greedy pig again. You learn to become independent or make it out on your own without this person, but they're not able to do that. They're feeling very helpless and powerless. They got to take some kind of risk too in their life. Some kind of risk. Someone's taking a risk. Aries. So whoever this is, is asking about you, Divine Feminine. Okay, this could be um, Divine Masculine. This is just clarity. If you've gotten some kind of communication like this recently. Something's about your good news or something like that. Two of Pentacles. What is this person? Queen of Rods Reverse. So this could be a karmic. This person could be getting ready to lose a home or a foundation. Could be something to do with a broken family, broken marriage. This is a person going through some shit storm. It feels like they're they're trying to compete with um, a young woman or a lord. Something about a wedding or marriage. Maybe a long-term commitment. Fourth house. This could be family or something to do with family. This I don't like this person's intentions. And then Sun and Pisces, Sun and Cancer. It's just the intention. It feels like you're not answering or something. You're not answering them when they're asking you this, or you're not answering the phone because this message is coming out as a struggle. It's coming out like, like they're struggling to get through to somebody. This person's really angry and they're really, really emotional. 
they're really, really sad. Like, this person's really pissed. They can't get through to somebody. They need resources or some support or something like that. And they're asking some divine masculine about a, another woman. Yeah, a letter. There's a letter. King of Diamonds. They messaged a man or something. It's going to be a brother or an uncle. The letter is a sign of good tidings. Unexpected good fortune. So somebody's dealing with unexpected good fortune. Whoever they messaged. Where this king of diamonds is. Divine masculine. And let's hit the ten of cups reversed. Whoever this other person is. Is receiving bad fortune. They could be going through a divorce. Or something like that. Their home life is not good. Their hell is sad. I can feel it. King of hearts. These are masculine energies. You were showing a lot of care and compassion for this person or people. You made some decision to end something out or stop supporting them or bringing them some kind of happiness. Friendship will warm into love. Financial success. You could be um, two coins. Yeah, you're happy about some success, some finances, or something with the sixth house of the work, jobs. Whoever this person is asking about to a divine masculine, they hate somebody. They hate this other person, the person that they're asking about. So I feel like this is a hidden enemy. Mm-hmm. That's the energy I'm picking up on. Five of Cups. Mm-hmm. You could have not have known for a long time that this person was a hidden enemy. They're sad over what was lost, crying over bad blood. This could be family, blood family. They got, they have something in their life currently that they should be grateful for, possibly their kids. There's something that's still there that they're ignoring or rejecting. This person could definitely not be paying attention to some other kind of love or friendships in their life. They're so focused on you and your gift and someone else having this gift. This person is like, they just cannot believe like, why do you get to enjoy the gift? That's uh, why it's supposed to be my gift, but it's not their gift. It's your gift. It's not theirs. Like this person feels entitled to your gift. Something with your good news, something with your abundance, your blessings, your fortune. You're happy in life and this person is so angry. You're definitely happy without this person. Okay, so why are they asking about a young woman or the Lord? Seven of Wands reverse. They don't want this person to like give up on somebody else. They're trying to um, show me the Seven of Wands. They're trying to compete. This person's trying to compete. 